Gma and Gpaw Adventures do a video from home today. See my Cinderella castle? Can you imagine what I'm making by looking at my ingredients on my table? What could it be? It's Disney magic. We're making Dole Whip, Disney World or Disneyland. You can get them at either place because Disney decided to release the recipe and we decided we would make it at home and try it out because they know how much people love the parks and miss them when they can't get there. The recipe is only three, three ingredients. You need to go out and buy some ice cream so this is, the, and they also said to buy dairy free because that's what the actual real Dole Whip is, is dairy free. So I chose this one by So Delicious and it's vanilla bean made with coconut milk. So no dairy. Then they said to buy pineapple juice. I knew we didn't need a lot of it because four ounces is not much. So I didn't buy the large can that some people buy because they probably just drink it later. But I bought just the one by Everfresh and it's straight pineapple juice. And four ounces is only a half of a cup. So you just need a half of a cup. And then you'll need two cups of frozen pineapple. Mmm, that smells so good. Now you can buy a fresh pineapple and cut it up yourself if you feel like doing that and stick it in the freezer and freeze that first. These are just pineapple chunks by Dole. Um, All together, this was like $8, $4, $1. Then I went out and just for fun bought these little cups that have the lids on them just in case we can't eat everything that we make, but I think we probably will. But if we can't, we have those. And if we want to make it later. And then just for fun, I went out and bought the little umbrellas um, at Aloha Isle, which is one of the Dole Whip um, stands in Disney World. If you buy a Dole Whip float, you get one of these. You also get a Marchino cherry, but I didn't find any of those. They didn't have them. So we've got those. So the first thing you do is you'll have to have a blender and most people always have a blender. So we're gonna take the pineapple chunks and put them in first. Make sure we get every bit of it because they smell so yummy. Then we're gonna take the juice. Okay, and that's a half of a cup. All it says for the ice cream is one large scoop. Does that look large? Yeah, I think that's pretty large. So we're gonna stick it in there. Take our lid. Don't forget your lid, because if you don't put a lid on a blender, I've done that in the past, that's not good. Stop it just for a second, and we're gonna like mix it up better inside the blender because sometimes it just needs some extra mixing. Okay, so here we go. Here's our blender. We're gonna Look at that creamy ice cream. Yum. Okay, so let's try this. Mmm, it's a little softer than we want, so we might stick it in the freezer because we've been working at this a long time. Okay, ready? Mmm, that's amazing. Very good. This is like the creaminess of the Dole Whip at Disney, but it just doesn't sit up because I blame my blender. So we're gonna go ahead and stick it in the freezer and we'll see how it tastes in about an hour. Two hours later. So this is our finished product. We gave it about an hour and a half to two hours in the freezer and we just kept checking it until it was hard enough that we could fit it like through a pastry bag or like a Ziploc bag. So it'd have to be like maybe this thick. And we're gonna try it. Yum, very good. So the flavor's good. The consistency is a little bit different than what you get at Disney. And of course, you're at Disney, so you can't compare this to Disney World. So bye for now. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And on the comments, tell me if you've tried this and it turned out better for you, and if there was something special that you did to make it turn out better, because I would love to know. Okay, bye.